This is the Negro Ninja. And before we start, I would like for y'all to take a look at the t-shirts in the description. All right, this is the Negro Ninja. And I want y'all to hear this clip real quick. I got two clips to show y'all. First... It's short man energy. What, what does that mean? Like, are you hating on short mean. men? Yeah, it was kind of mean. It was like a derogatory stance, I guess you could say. It, yeah. I'll, you know what? I'll let it slide as long as you're okay with fat girl energy. I'm. Are you okay with fat girl? <laughs> I've energy? done my due diligence in dating a man shorter than me, so I feel like I could say that. So that's if worth it. if short guy energy is okay, then fat girl energy has to be okay too. Okay. Now, this clip pretty much proves that there is just countless ways to take down a bitch, okay? Because I remember growing up, I was taught that you should never call a girl short. I'm like, like, why is she short? Okay. And, you know, like, growing up, I didn't really hear the tall um, preference thing that girls liked and et cetera, you know? But come to find out that that's how it is growing up, okay? And, you know, I would call a girl short if it was something that I liked, you know, I thought it was cute or whatever. Oh, she's short, that's cute. You can't call her that. Okay, bitches hate all things cute, which pretty much proves that if a chick is calling you a cutesy name, she's most likely being condescending. But this ain't really the real reason why I'm making this video. Okay, I'm making this video to back up what I say about how hoes actually like little dick energy. Okay, now you see how she was talking about Andrew Tate. What is he, 5'8"? No, a day where that Negro is not 5'8". Okay, that was an insult. Okay, then she went straight from that to dick size. Okay, basically saying, you know, how to... Oh, because she figured, oh, no, nobody care about the height. She know that's not getting to the guys in the room or it's not going to get to Andrew. So then she just said, he must have a small penis. All right. And there's a reason why I decided to make this video because I've been kind of putting it off. Okay. But let me show you the true reason why I'm finna, why I make this video today. Hold on. Okay, before I show y'all this clip, remember back in the day growing up, bitches always have to use dick size as an insult meaning every time they insult you they'll say that um you're not 12 inches they they'll they'll say you know they'll just raise the bar okay they want you to have that, that they give you the opinion they want you to have the hugest dick in existence okay it's all about size just anything they can do to take you down a peg which pretty much just proves that they would prefer to appeal to stupid mother effers okay because smart men automatically know okay you you automatically know like how, how big does your junk really need to be okay you know a chick is not going to be able to take nothing like this all right but now the gig is up to where you flat out hearing more whores flat out admit that they are afraid of well-endowed dicks okay now once again a whore never reveals what you don't already know. Okay, well, you just wonder, like, why is she playing so many games? Oh, I put two and two together. You bitches are afraid of the size of my penis. But you just don't want to admit it. Then they just start admitting it. So here you go. Here's the first clip. Well, this, the last clip. I don't think you know how big 12 inches is. Do you see that? Just in scale? Where is that going? Not in here, okay? The average gal... It's going to get about that much. Maybe this, if they're a pro. But the rest of that, completely unmanageable. This is the biggest... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so she just showed 12 inches on the ruler. Okay, and then she just said 4 inches is, is um, adequate. She, she just said that. Okay. All right, let's play the rest. I've ever seen in real life. But this is fine. It's completely fine. This... Fabulous. Almost too big. Definitely too big. Fucking sick day. ER. 27 club. And now I'm just skipping my next life. Anything after that is entirely unethical. I don't think we know what we're talking about. Three tips. Two one. Okay. 
So she pretty much even hinting at what I just said. That's, that's how bitches used to act all the time. Holes to tell you anything to make you feel like you down here when you really up here. Okay. All right. Because people you, you used to question if they was actually too small or something. Okay. Girls will have you thinking that you are like this. If you're stupid. All right, because you remember all those articles talking about, oh, they want the app from me. Or they want the guy just um, hung down low in this. I'm like, well, what the? That's why it pays to not just listen to what other people say. Okay, that's why it pays to just take your own observations. Okay, because it's like I was saying a long time ago. They talked about, oh, you need to be this tall. I'm like, how come all these niggas I see around here is short and they happily married or they're... um. You know, genetically inferior, but they don't have trouble keeping a bitch. The stomach's hanging all over the knees and ain't got no issues. Got a family and everything. Okay. Because you got, you, got, you, got, you got to really think about this right here. We live in a society that panders. Okay. Like, say, for instance, it's like no fap. They pandering to people that um feels bad about not having sex. Like, why do they have to announce that? I'm going this low without feeding my meat. And then it's all other types of names that loners like to give themselves, you know, try to make a club on YouTube or Discord or something. Okay, but hoes are no different. Now they're pandering to dudes like this when they used to flat out ridicule anybody. Okay, into thinking that they was like that. Okay, and that very reason is why I don't trust women that don't like big dick. I've been over this too many times, too many videos and statuses about it. But I just had to make this quick video, you know, because YouTube kept suggesting that particular video. I seen like five or six channels share that same exact video. Uh, you know, it's usually girls sharing it, you know, while they be right there. Yeah. Mm hmm. OK, I'm proud of the fact that I got a weak pussy. That's just basically what she's announcing. OK, hence why bitches like little dick energy. OK. Weak mind, weak pussy. A woman's pussy and her mind are the same things. How many times do I have to tell niggas? Okay, now hoes are on the crusade to make it seem like you a mutant if you got a big dick. Okay, like how does it make sense to... If, okay, if God gonna make you with a big dick. You know he made women that can take your dick. Okay, I remember what a hoe was telling me. Um... 90 something percent of girls, 98 percent of girls won't be able to take it. I'm like, don't try to make me seem like I'm the freak. You just a weak bitch. Bitch, do some Kegel exercises. OK, once again, that's why hoes like to make things extremely difficult. So what if you did decide you want to jump through every hoop and she decided to give you some, but your dick don't fit in her vagina? Hmm. OK, that's like Super Mario getting to the end of the stage. And not being able to enter the castle at all. I'm sorry, Mario, but this bitch is not in this castle again. Okay, but you're going to have to take my word for it because you can't come in. Let me come in and look. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. But trust that she's not here. Okay, and I don't care what nobody says. Sex is the most important thing between a man and a bitch. Okay, it is the most important thing. Now, you got to just think about this. About how many ways um, there is to cheat. You know, you don't necessarily have to stick your dick in a woman. Um, I don't want to say violate. To contaminate her for another dude, you know. Okay, because if you can get a whore to think a certain way. That is, um, you know, that's, that's why a cop block is being in our ear trying to keep her from you. Notice how if they succeed, whatever she think does not benefit you at all. Okay. Okay, so let's take this back to bitches with a weak pussy. Okay. Her mind makes her pussy weak because if she was smart, she would just take my advice and do the Kegel exercises. Get in shape, bitch. Okay. Get in shape so your coochie can squeeze the dick in place. That's all you got to do. That's keeping her... Thinking of things that don't benefit you, like a whole cop block on herself. All right. And I just have to make this a quick video. Um, hold on. 
All right, I got to end this. I might do a, another version of this later on or something, though. But this has been the Negro Ninja bringing you your Negro message for today. Negro out.